In this video, we are going to discuss multiply boss plot. So what's the difference between a multiply boss plot and a regular boss plot? The regular boss plot does, doesn't detect any outliers for you. We have a set of data. If some of the observations, some of the data entry, they look unusual, we say they are outliers, right? But looking unusual is not mathematics. So in order to say they are outliers, you have to prove it. You have to give me some proof, right? So first, let's talk about the fine number summary and then I will show you the steps to construct a modified boss plot. So we have lines. So imagine that we short the data in ascending order. The entire data represent this line. So we have a minimum, we have a maximum. First, we find the median. The median is Q2, right? And then for the Q2 bisect the data into two pieces. So for the piece on the left, we are going to cut this one more time using a Q1. So using a Q1, so Q1 is right here, right? So the middle of the first half. So this is Q1 and then this is Q3. So this, since we cut the data into four pieces, this is the first 25%, the 25 percentile, which is the first quartile. And then the next 25%, the next 25%, the next 25%, right? So we just cut the entire uh, data set into four quarters. So one thing that, uh, one vocabulary that I would like to introduce is called the interquartile range. So we have, we are going to grab the 250% in the middle and then we build an interquartile range, just like the box of the box plus. So 25 plus 25, this piece sum up to 50%, right? So that is 50%. We call that interquartile range. So let's write this down. Inter quartile range. Interquartile range is the middle 50% of the data. How do you calculate the interquartile range? So the interquartile range, we call this IQR. IQR is equals to Q3 minus Q1. That is the middle 50% of the data. And then we perform three additional steps. The first step is we multiply the IQR by 1.5. And then we take the lower cutoff. I call that LC equals to Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. So, and then you check out the data. Any data entry less than the lower cutoff is an outlier. And then the upper cutoff, I call that a UC. You take Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. And then any data entry greater than that is an outlier. But let me tell you that the lower cutoff and the upper cutoff, they are not part of the modified boss part. So they are not part of the modified boss part, not part of modified boss part. So that is the concept. And then let's do an actual problem. So we are going to try this actual problem. It's a data set that we used in the previous video. So we use this data set to construct a regular boss plot. Now we are going to construct a modified boss plot to detect any outliers. First, we find the fine number summary. So we have, what do we have in here? So we have 13 entries, right? So the uh, median, where is the median? The median is the seventh entry. So let's use a color to cut this up. So this is the seventh entry. So this is my Q2. And then I have my minimum. And then I have my maximum. On the left hand side of Q2, we have six entries, right? Six entries on the right hand side. So this will be my Q1. And then this will be my Q2. So that is 17 plus 20 divided by 2 equals to 18.5. That is my Q1, and then you take 37 plus 40 divided by 2 equals to 38.5. So that is my Q3. So let's fill out the table. This is a 5, and then this is a 18.5, 29, and then 38.5, and then 90. Now you want to make a note on, on your notebook. Do not mess up the Q1 and Q3. Use the calculator to check your work. If Q1 and Q3 are messed up, the next two parts will be all wrong. Again, if Q1 and Q3, they are incorrect, and the next two big sub-problems, the big parts, they will be all wrong. Okay, so lower cutoff and upper cutoff. So now we calculate the lower cutoff. So lower cutoff, 
Let's do that lower cut off. So we have a LC. Let's change that to another cut lower cut off. Oh, before we calculate the lower cut off, we have to find the IQR, right? So the IQR, you will take a Q3 minus Q1, which is 38.5 minus 18.5. And then that equals to 20. So you have a 38.5 minus 18.5 equals to 20. And then the lower cutoff is you have a Q1. I I'm going to write the formula as well. You have a Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Of course, you multiply first. So you have a 18.5 minus 1.5 times 20. So multiply first and then take the 18, subtract that. So 18.5 minus 1.5 times 20 that is equals to negative 11.5 any data entry less than that is an outlier do we have any outliers at this point the answer is no the smallest value is 5 5 is not less than that so we don't this number doesn't detect any outlier for us and then the upper cut off we have a q3 plus 1.5 times iqr so that is a q3 so q3 is 38.5 so we take 38.5 plus 1.5 times uh, 20 so we have 38.5 times plus 1.5 times 20 so that is equals to 68.5 so 68.5 and then uh, the 68.5 do we have any data greater than that? Yes, we do. We have a 90. We have a 90 greater than 68.5. So the 90 is an outlier. And then, uh, so, but 90 was a maximum. Then what is the maximum now? The maximum is the second highest value. So the 46 is now the maximum. Don't go back to change the table. Just make a note right there and then you will be okay. So the lower cutoff, negative 11.5 upper cut off 68.5 and then we have an outlier 90 and then I also need to make a note for myself since now outlier is no longer the maximum the maximum is the second highest entry now it's a 46 and then you construct your modified boss part so here is the modified boss part so first we draw 5 so this is 5 and then the Q1 is 18.5. So this is 18.5. And then uh, Q2 is 29. And then Q3 is 38.5. 38.5. And then the maximum is 46. So which is like right here. 46. And then the box stands for the middle 50%. The interquartile range IQR. And then the outlier, the 90, I will just use a big star to represent 90. All right, to represent 90. So that is um, how we construct a modified boss plot. So what's the difference between regular and, and, and modified? The regular boss plot, they will just pull the right tail to connect to the 90, right? The, the uh, modified boss plot, you can single out the outlier. So the outlier is no longer affecting the right tail. Okay. And yeah, so that's how you do this by hand. And then how do you do this using a calculator? So using a calculator, first we enter the data, right? So we go to step and then we go to edit step and then we go to edit. And then uh, the, my data is already in L1 because I use this data set to do a regular boss plot. So I don't need to do this again. Okay. And then uh, if you, and then we have to calculate the fine number summary. So we go to second mode to quick, and then we go to stat, and then we go to count, and then we do a one variable stats. So I put my data in L1, I will just hit second one. So that is L1. And then I calculate, or uh, for the older calculator, you hit second one on the home screen, and then you press enter. So you calculate, you see your five number summary, right? So 5, 18.5, 29, 38.5, and 90. So that is the five number summary. Don't mess this up. If the Don't mess up the Q1 and Q3. If they are wrong, then the IQR will be wrong. The upper cutoff, lower cutoff, outliers, they will be all wrong. And then 
the modified boss part will be all wrong as well. So make sure you do not mess up the Q1 and Q3. How do you graph this? So to graph this, uh, you have to go to second y equal, second y equal. Uh, you are going to see a different screen because my calculator is not uh, a TI-84+. Plus. Uh, I put my data in L1, but before you, you, you don't see L1 and L2 right now, you see plot 1, plot 2, plot 3, plot 4, right? Only plot 1 is on. 2, 3, 4, turn it off for me. How? You just go into plot 2, and then if that is the on is fashion, just select off and then press enter. So that is how you turn it off. All right. So only plot one is on. I put my data in list one. And then this time I have to change the type. Do you see the type on your calculator? You see the type, right? In your TI calculator, there are supposed to be six little pictures, six pictures in the type. One of the pictures looks like a modified plot plot so there are two plot plot right one regular one modified the modified one is the one with two dots on the right hand side two dots on the right hand side you select that one and then they will ask you for an x list and then you pick l1 or l2 the list where you store your data and then the mark you can you can choose what whatever mark you want if your calculator has color you can choose your favorite color after everything is set up all you have to do is you hit the zoom key the zoom is right above delete and then you click the nine button then the calculator will show you a modified plus plus so in my uh, calculator i need to press graph and then see a modified plus plus do you see that this is it's just the same thing as mine all right uh to to find out these points, uh, I don't have that options on, on my uh, uh, calculator. So on your graphing calculator, you can hit the up, the up right, left, the up, down, left, right arrow. So you will see, um, you will see a dot floating on, on, on the picture. So if you move the cursor close to the outlier, they will give you an approximation of what that number is. So you look up to your data, you can easily find what that number equals to. But I don't really trust that. I will just uh, be on top of modify plus plus. So as long as you give me the plot, I look at my fine number summary, I can easily label this on my paper. All right. Uh, do you what, what about the scale? The scale just provide a reasonable distance between the, the two numbers. All right. So that will be all in this video. Uh, in the next video, I will practice one more modified boss part for you. All right, I see you there.